All right. Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. I'm Reverend Serenus Tree Walker with the Order of Standing Oak and Raven Temple of CX Wicca. And today, I just want to take a few minutes to talk about the situation that is going on between Russia and uh, the Ukraine right now. This is a horrible time in human history, and we have seen so much atrocity and so much evil in our world over the last 30 and 50 years. This is something that just really sends things over the top. And I think it's time that we get more active as pagans about these kind of things. So today we're going to talk about magic and a spell that we can use to help to protect the people of the Ukraine to end this war and bring the earth to a more stable space of, of living because we have so many frightening things that could be happening. Uh, you know, not just the, the, the overtake of the Ukraine, but a madman that could destroy the earth. So it's up to us to, to take the reins and do the things that we need to do. And so this is a spell to help protect and 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 save the people of the Ukraine from the darkness that has moved into their part of the world so readily and so quickly. And the only things you're going to need for this spell is a red and white uh, votive candle or taper that can burn for at least uh, eight hours. And what you're going to do is you're going to put uh, these candles in their respective holders. And place them about six inches apart on your altar or shelf or wherever it is that you have set up for working your magic. Um, and what you want to do is this this spell is just a very simple heartfelt thing from us as pagans. Uh, you want to get yourself into that mindset of closing your eyes, getting your body just relaxed and and just ready for your magical processes and then take a lighter or a, a, a match or whatever you have for lighting the, the, the candles and light them each and as you do visualize the uh, white candle first and see the light coming from that candle, going out from you, wherever you are, to encircle the entirety of the Ukraine with a barrier of light that is impenetrable. No weapon, no human, no uh, in, in, in engine of destruction can pass through it. It is thick. It is strong. It is with the love and the power of the gods and the people and the earth that is placed within it. And then what I want you to do is I want you to take and light the red candle. And the red candle is for strength for the Ukrainian people that they know that they are loved and that they are cared for and that the world and the universe is with them, that they are strong, that they are, that their spirits are kept high and know that they are on the right side of history in this and that they are the people of strength and that they are the people of love and just see that energy from that red candle just filling up the entire interior. If you can picture an image of the map of the, of the country of Ukraine, just see that beautiful ruby red energy of that candle spreading to every corner, every village, Every city, every town, every spot within that country where people are. And that you see that you have lit the red candle and that you have lit the white candle. And they are about six inches apart. And what I want you to do is just to say this or whatever words that you want to say. But what, we, but what I am going to say in this instance is, may the power of the white light repel and restrain all evil and all harm from the people of the Ukraine. 
May this candle be a bulwark and an armor to, to keep the enemy out and to keep the people within safe. This is the white light of protection. 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 Now I want you to concentrate on that red candle, that red candle of strength and, and love going out to every person that is in the country of the Ukraine. And think of the gods and the goddesses and the nature spirits and everything that you honor and that the Ukrainian people honor and the, the, the whole world that they honor. And just think, this is the energy of love and strength. 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 And as you chant, see that energy filling and being spread out to everyone in the Ukraine and to let them know that we are with them, that we stand by them. Now, what I would also say to do is what once an hour, move each one of the candles an inch closer to each other and whenever you do that, with the candle still burning, take a minute to chant over the white candle to improve the strength of that barrier, to keep out all of the negative, to keep out all of the, the energies of, of war and tyranny and, and, and destruction, to keep it at bay, to keep all of that away from the people that are inside of the borders of the Ukraine. And then take a minute to send the red energy of love and strength and blood and power to persevere and to live and go on because the, there's a brighter day. There is a, a good future for the people of the Ukraine and the world stands behind them. And every hour do this, move these, these candles together until they touch. And when they touch, think of this together and think of the white light and the red light together. Together, these candles are joined in the power of defense and the power of love and strength to the Ukrainian people. And just concentrate on those two energies at the same time being felt all through the entirety of the Ukraine sent out to all their people and to let them know that people and, and to let them know in their hearts that the people of the world uh, everywhere from America and, and, and just wherever that we love them, that the pagans of America, the pagans of the world love and care for them and want the best for them in this awful situation. And we don't curse in this situation we only use defense. We only use the armor that needs to be used. We don't go any further than we need to. And I just want to say I've been scared about this for a little bit. We don't know what the Russians will do. We don't know what Putin's going to do. But what we do know is what we can do right now while we're still here is that we can be a bulwark and a defense for the defenseless and as pagans, we have the power and the magic to send out to them and to help them get through this situation and to bring America and the world and everybody back into harmony for as much as that is worth. I want to thank you guys for, for doing this, for standing up for the, the, the Ukrainian people and to continue daily to send energy, to light candles, to work spells, to bring your covens together and your groves, and to work the magic that turns the tide and uh, softens the hearts of the aggressor and uplifts the hearts of those that are being oppressed. I'm your host, Reverend Sylvanus Tree Walker of the Order of the Standing Oak uh, of a Pagan Perspective here on YouTube. We're going to put this uh, little video on YouTube. 
uh, I ask that if you would think about possibly subscribing. And if you want to support what our channel does in this time, then I would love for you guys to go ahead and possibly think about joining our Patreon. We want to do more videos. We want to do more work for the pagan community. But anyway, as putting this out, I want to thank you for taking the time to check this out. And I say, as I will it, so mote it be. May this energy and this spell be sealed forever in the annals of time and history that we stand in love and strength with the people of the Ukraine. Thus is my uh, decree as the priest and founder of the Order of Standing Oak and the uh, founder of Raven Temple of Siaxwicka. I thank you all. Blessings of the old gods and blessed be to you for taking the time to check out this video. Have a great day.